Indeed, Elaine, the White House is again just shifting its position. The latest defense that Donald Trump was talking in broad terms when he used the word wiretapping. But a host of critics are seemingly not going to let Trump slip away from this controversy, as he has so deftly done so many times before. Invoking the word clarification is a time-honored tradition in Washington, D.C. politics. And once again, it took center stage at the daily White House briefing. I think there's, a, there's no question that the Obama administration, that there were actions about surveillance and other activities that occurred in the 2016 election. That is a widely um, reported activity that occurred back then. The president used the word wiretap, in quotes, to mean broadly surveillance and other activities. U.S. President Donald Trump fired off at least three tweets on March 4th, accusing former President Obama of wiretapping. Terrible. Just found out Obama had my wires tapped. McCarthyism. A few minutes later, a second tweet. Is it legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race? A new low in capital letters. Finally, how low has President Obama gone to tap my phone? This is Nixon Watergate, bad or sick guy. One week ago, White House spokesman Sean Spicer said the tweets speak for themselves. Now, more clarification. He doesn't really think that President Obama went up and tapped his phone personally. But many Democrats and some Republicans say that is exactly the way Trump made it sound. And his tweets were crystal clear. Leaders in the U.S. Congress gave Trump a Monday deadline for offering proof or backing off of the accusation. On the heels of WikiLeaks releasing alleged CIA secrets on how they spied on people, White House advisor Kellyanne Conway said Trump has reason to be concerned. There was an article this week that talked about how you can surveil someone through their phones, through their, uh, certainly through their television sets. Uh, any number of different ways, and microwaves that turn into cameras, et cetera. So we know that that is just a fact of, of modern sure. life. Yeah. Conway offered her own clarification, saying she was talking about overall spying, and it was not a reference to Trump's wiretapping allegations. The White House clarifications do little to appease Trump's staunchest critics. Trump's spokesman says the president has asked the Department of Justice to investigate the allegations, and in the end, the DOJ will have the responsibility of reporting what did or didn't happen to Congress. Elaine? And we're just a few days away now from his new travel ban that goes into effect. So what is the response there? If it goes into effect according to the way the White House wants it going into effect. But now there are seven U.S. states that are fighting this. Uh, if you remember, Washington state had the initial fight uh, that went on to prove that the Trump's first try at this travel ban was unconstitutional. They changed the language. They took Iraq out of it. But there are six, six still uh, mostly m Muslim nations that uh, have bans, would have bans coming into the U.S. as well as Syrian refugees. But now seven states fighting that, saying no matter how they tweak the language, it's still the same. It is unconstitutional, and it is a Muslim ban in their take on this. So a lot to be played out in the next couple of days. All right, Sean Caleb, thanks for that.